right. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. Pastor Tim here with Trinity Baptist Community Church. I'm the youth pastor, and this is uh, Tay Tay Next Generation, a summary of our today's lesson. Um, it was taken on the fourth Fourth commandment kind of looks like this. We use our fingers. Memorizing means to halt, to arrest, stop. Remember the Lord's Sabbath and keep it holy. Did not say keep the Lord's Sabbath and remember it holy. I think that's a huge distinction. Our scripture text for today was taken from Mark, second chapter, 27th verse. And we always have kind of an activity of looking up scriptures at the beginning of class that was found and confirmed and read out loud by Alejandro today. And the gist of that is that the Sabbath was made for man and man not for the Sabbath. And those were the words of our Lord Jesus Christ taken from Mark, the second chapter, the 27th verse. Things that we want to focus on about the Lord's Sabbath, there's a whole lot that we could say about the Sabbath and the Sabbatarians, and whether it was Saturday, whether it's the first day of the week. But the thing that I wanted to impress with the young people today is first and foremost that it was God's rest. That it was his rest. He created the heavens and the earth six days, and the seventh day he halted. He rested, but he didn't get tired, didn't get sleepy. doesn't mean that we have a weak God, inferior God, or anything like that. The second that the, the rest that is called for is for us. This, this fourth Sabbath, again, the day is for us. We are not created for the day. We are not to venerate the Sabbath day and to begin to worship it. And a lot of people kind of treat the Sabbath like that. And secondly, this is very kind of leads to the typology and that the Sabbath, in our future Sabbath, is all hidden in Christ. He is the true Sabbath rest for us as believers. And um, even from the beginning, this was to be ours for our benefit by God and through his work of grace in Jesus Christ, it will be again for the work that we do in God and the work we, that he's done in us. Um, as a review for last week's lessons, in the first, we talked about a little bit about God's number one, one of God. We talked about monotheism. We introduced a couple theology words instead of polypantheism. Second, um, we talked about idolatry, and again, Colossians 3, 5, that could be something in us. And then third, we talked about do not take the Lord's name in vain. One thing I introduced this week, it's a little bit different, not enough to just say, God blame it, Jesus Christ. But even when we say, uh, I swear to God, or own God, or anything like that is another form and fashion which we take the Lord's name in vain. Please be praying with us and uh, praying for our young people. Uh, and uh, look for us next on Tay Tay Next Generation. God bless. Have a great day.